Hello people, welcome to today's math class. Today we have this question before us here. Yeah, the question reads 4 all over m plus 2 all over n equal to 1. And here we are told that m and n belong to a set of positive integers. So how do we solve for uh, our m and n? Okay, so we take our solution to this problem. So here we have solution. I want to believe you know this is all I must TV and if you've not subscribed, do it to subscribe because here we release math all the time, math solutions all the time. We are learning for your phone. Okay, so let's take our question here. Now we find the LCM of the system and the LCM is automatically M and N. So we multiply both terms by that LCM. So we have this times M N, then plus our Two all over n times m n then equal to our one times our m n. All right. So this goes with this. This goes with this. So we are now left with our four n then plus our two m equal to m n. So just rearrange the system here by taking everything to the side of the equation. So if we do that, it's going to give us here our m n the minus um, 4 n the minus 2 of uh, m right uh, to m this is equal to our zero here okay so let's just go alphabetically okay so if we decide to go alphabetically then this will come before this okay it doesn't make any difference but yeah let's just go alphabetically so we have here m m n minus 2n, the minus 4n, this is equal to our 0. Good. So what we do here now is easy. Now look at this expression here. From the first two terms here, if I decide to factor n from here, I will be left with m minus 2. Right? Oh, here is m, please. Our pattern, so here is M. Okay, now let's look at these terms here now. The first two terms here now. Now, if I decide to factor out M from here, we'll be left with N minus 2. Look at what we have here. Here we have N. So, uh, what number can I add to this system or subtract from this system to give me our N minus 2? So, here we are having 4 already. So I think of a number I'm going to uh, use for to divide to give me two, and that is eight. So if I put in plus eight here, the, this minus we multiply the plus here to give us minus. So in my use for to divide eight, it will give me a uh, two to so get something of such from here again. So in other words, I want to add eight to both sides of the equation. Okay, so it's a simple logic. So yeah, we're going to add eight to both sides of the equation. So minus 4n plus 8, this is equals to 8 plus 0. So at this point, I can put this in bracket. I put this in bracket. They factor out m from here. So I'm going to be left here. n minus 2 plus bracket. And what is common here is just 4. So we have here 4 bracket n minus times plus will give us minus. And 4 into 8 will give us 2 equal to 8. So this is what I said initially. That with this and this, we're going to have something good playing out. So we can take the terms inside the bracket because they are the same. They take this and this that are outside. So we can now rewrite our expression to be our m yeah, minus 4, the yeah, bracket n minus 2 equal to our 8. Easy. Okay, so we look at this now. So what do we do at this point here now? We bring out all the factors of 8 and the factors of 8 from here here we have factors factors of 8 of 8 we have there to be plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 4 and plus minus 8 but again look at the condition we are giving here we have told that M and N belong to a set of positive integer. 
So with that word happen, we are going to ignore the uh, negative ones and take the positive ones only. So let's continue at this side. Okay, so when I look at this, so taking the positive, we can now equate this to this, and at the same time equate this to this part of. So what does that mean? It means we're going to have our m minus our 4, right? Close bracket, will be equal to, yeah, we're going to take 1, 2, 4, and 8. So we have 1, 2, 4, and 8. And our n minus 2, we take the reverse, which is 8, 4, uh, 2, and 1. Okay, so we're going to take case 1. From here, we have here case 1. Our case 1 is going to give us m minus 4 is equal to 1. So this now implies that our m is equal to um. We send this to this side to give us 1 plus uh, 4. So we have this to be what? 5. And uh, our n minus 2 will now be n minus 2. We take our 8. So this now implies our m is equal to your 8. The flux 2. This will give us 10. So the best solution or pair of solution we have from here is going to give us m there comma n will now be equal to bracket 5 comma 10 those brackets so this is our first selection so we take our keys 2 our keys 2 is the same thing so we have m minus 4 equal to so you're going to take 2 we have 2 and this now implies that our m is equal to 2 plus 4, which is equal to 6. And our n minus 2 will now be equal to 4. So we have 4 here. And this now implies our n is equal to our 4 there plus 2. So we move this to this side. So this is going to give us 6. So we have our m comma n. Automatically, this is going to give us our 6 comma 6. Okay, so we'll take our case three. We we'll have case three. That's our case three. We have our m uh, minus four will now be equal to four. So we have four. So this now implies that our m is equal to four plus four, which is equal to eight, and our n uh, minus two will be equal to um, 2. So we have this to be 2. So this now implies our n is equal to 2 uh, plus 2, which is equal to 4. So what is our m n from our case 3? Okay, so let's continue from this side. From here, the uh, third pair of solutions we're going to have our m um, comma n will now be equal to we have 8 a comma 4. Okay, so we take the last one, which is case 4. Case 4. We have our m minus 4. This is equal to, so we're going to take the last one, which is equal to 8. All right, so this now implies our m is equal to 8 plus 4, which is equal to 12. And our n minus Two, we now take what one. So this now implies our n is equal to uh, one plus uh, two, which is equal to three. So from here we have our m n will be equal to a uh, twelve and three. Okay. So what are the pairs of solution in all that um, will satisfy this? equation with m and n belonging to positive integers. So let's go ahead and bring the out. So this now implies that our m comma n now be equal to, so the first pair, uh, where's our first pair here for case one? We have five comma 10. So we have here five comma 10 
Then the next one for case two, we have six comma six. We have here six comma six. And the next one for case three, we have um uh, case three. Okay, look at case three here. We have eight comma four. We have eight comma four. Then the last one, which is case four, we have twelve comma three. All right. So these are the positive pairs of integers that will satisfy our original equation. Yeah. Okay, so if you substitute these pairs into the original equation, you'll discover that they will all satisfy the equation. All right, so if you learn something from this challenge, from this solution, then give the video a thumbs up, and we'll see you in our next class. Keep winning. Remember that Jake loves you, and all of us at Online Mass TV love you. Thanks for being there all the time. Bye. For you now.